Welcome to the channel everyone, it's Michael Tharp EDU. It starts with you. Today I'm gonna to do a tutorial on how to get into Web3 or decentralized finance using my favorite wallet called Rabi. All right, so this is for the people that are new. People keep asking me about this, so I'm making a whole video on it so you guys understand how to actually make lots of money with cryptocurrency. Now, you need to get on an exchange first. You need a way to take dollars and get cryptocurrency. So I prefer to use crypto.com. I'll put a link down in the YouTube description for that. You can also use Kraken. Um, you can use Cash App where you can get Bitcoin. And a lot of people use Coinbase. I don't really like Coinbase, but it is a little easier for new people. Just don't ask me for help when you sign up for Coinbase because I don't use them. So you're going to go to Rabby, R-A-B-B-Y dot I-O. I will also put that link in the description of the YouTube video. You just click more and then all the links that are there that you need. Okay. So I'm on a browser I don't normally use. So I will never use this address again so I can show you guys how everything looks and functions. Now, once you are here, you should see where it says extension released. Download for Chrome. So you're going to click on that. And it will take you to the Chrome Web Store. Now, I'm using a Brave browser. I recommend using Chrome just because some things don't work well. I, I love Brave, but I just had to stop using them. So I'm going to click, click Add to Brave. Yours will say Add to Chrome or whatever browser it is that you're using. We'll click Add Extension. Now, a lot of people still use what's called MetaMask, which looks like this fox thing right here. Okay, I don't like MetaMask. Um, it's very primitive when compared to Rabi. So you might have heard MetaMask before. Rabi, I think, is a better alternative. So I have now downloaded it. You need to go up to a little puzzle piece in the top right of your browser and click on that puzzle piece and then come down to Rabi Wallet and pin it. So you're going to click this pin so it's purple or blue. And now Rabi is here. So now I'm going to click on Rabi. Access all dApps. Dapps are decentralized applications. So I will click Next. Self-custodial private keys are stored locally with sole access to you. So they're going to give me 12, what they're called 12 seed words that are created randomly. I'm the only one that has these. Okay. Rabi doesn't have them. Chrome doesn't have them. Whatever blockchain you're on doesn't have them. You only have them and protect them with your life. Now, if you are already into crypto and you want to bring in any wallet that you have that's you know, compatible with them, like they don't do Bitcoin, but they do Ethereum, uh, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, you would go to import seed phrase, put in your 12 words, and then whatever wallet that you have will show up in Rabi. Okay. Digital assets or cryptocurrencies are not held on devices. Okay. They're stored on the blockchain. We just use different ways to access them. So you could have one address and five different wallets that have access to that address. Now we're creating a new seed phrase here. So we're going to go to create new seed phrase. If you don't have a crypto wallet or you want a new one, you're going to first set a password. Okay. Now, anytime you get into cryptocurrency, you want to have a notebook. You're going to write everything down on a notebook. You're not going to store it digitally. You're not going to take a screenshot. You're not going to print it out. You're not going to download it or email it to yourself. Only on paper with pen or pencil. Okay, I will now hit next. Okay, and they're telling you here what I just told you. If you lose your seed phrase, it's gone. Don't give your seed phrase to anyone, especially if you're online. A lot of times people will pretend to be from like this cryptocurrency of like, oh, I'm here to help you. And they'll message you randomly on Telegram or Discord. And then they'll say, oh, I need, I need your seed words to fix this. Don't send your seed words to anyone, especially online. If you share them, it's gone. It's only stored on your computer. Rabi has no access. Okay. If I uninstall Rabi without backing up the seed phrase, Rabi cannot retrieve it for me. You are now in charge of your cryptocurrency. Now, normally I wouldn't show this, 
but I don't really care. I'm just going to do this for full transparency. I won't ever use this wallet. So these are my 12 seed words. I should guard them with my life. Okay. Don't just write them on some envelope and throw it on your desk. All right. Put it in a safe place, preferably a safe. Make two copies of them if you have some serious money. Okay. Put one with a trusted friend, someplace safe with them or family, and then one in a safe place with yours. So I'm going to write these seed words down because I'm going to have to validate that I know what they are. Okay, I have saved the seed phrase. Now, normally, I thought it makes you validate what the seed phrase was of like put them in order. So it might do that for you. I don't know why it didn't for me. Now, don't freak out because there's all these addresses here. I'm not really sure why they're all here either. Um, but you're just going to the top one. Okay, this one right here. You're going to come here to the left and click add to Ravi so it will be purple. And you can change the name of this here. So I'll just put, you know, like test wallet. Okay, and then I'm going to click done. And now you come up here to the top right where Rabi is. It says MetaMask is in use. Rabi is banned. So we're going to flip this because we don't want to use MetaMask, which I don't know. Yeah, I didn't think we were. Okay, but anyways, now we're in Rabi. Okay, this is my address. So if I want to send cryptocurrency to this address, I'm going to click receive. And these are all the different blockchains that are on that you can use with Rabi. Normally, or at least back in the day, <laughs> people used to start off with Ethereum. Ethereum is very, very expensive now. Um, probably a lot of you will use BNB. Okay. This is called BNB chain. Also, Binance Smart Chain or BEP20, 20, 20. BEP2, don't use. Don't ever use BEP2. BEP20, BNB, or Binance Smart Chain. This address here is the same address on multiple blockchains, okay? You can have the same address and send cryptocurrency to different blockchains. So a lot a mistake. So you see here it ends with the B004, right? So what a lot of people will do is they will s send something on Ethereum, but they're trying to get it on Binance Smart Chain. That happens a lot with people I work with. So you see how now I'm on Ethereum and it's the same address. So you can send USDT on Ethereum to this address and it will be on the Ethereum blockchain on that address. You can send it on BNB and I don't know what that, I don't even know what that is. Um, okay, you can send it to this address and then it will be on the Binance Smart Chain address. Um, you Avalanche is another um, big blockchain. Okay, you can send stuff on Avalanche here. So it's all in your possession. It's all in the same seed words. It's the same address on different blockchains. So if I was on crypto.com or Coinbase, and I wanted to send Avalanche, I could use my phone and scan the QR code and it will populate that address, or I could copy the address, paste it in, and then send my assets to this wallet. If I wanted to send you something, I would click on this. Okay, actually I'm gonna put a little crypto in here just to kind of show you guys how it works. Okay, so I've sent a little BNB &B into this wallet. Now, the other thing to remember is, well, let me do this first. When you have assets in here, if you click anywhere in this blue screen, it will show you what you have. Okay, so I have 0 0.05 BNB. It's worth $13.60. If I had multiple blockchains on here, it would show the different blockchains. So you could click on each blockchain and see what you have. Now, if I'm going to send something on the Binance Smart Chain, it will go to the Binance Smart Chain. If I'm on Ethereum and I send something from Ethereum, it will stay on Ethereum. So if I wanted to send something for in this wallet, I would click send. I would paste. Let's see, I need to get the wallet I'm sending to, right? So I'm going to send it back to this wallet. So I'm going to click receive BNB copy that address and I 
come back here. I'm going to come here like we talked about. We're going to click send. I'm going to paste that address. Okay, I can send 0 0.01 BNB to them. Now, I have never interacted with this address before on this address, so it's not whitelisted, so I'll have to put in my password to send it, which is another um, security thing that MetaMask doesn't have. And then I'm going to send that cryptocurrency. Now, anytime you do anything on the blockchain, you're going to have to approve it. Now, this is a warning from them, from Rabbi, saying you've never interacted with this address before. Are you sure you want to do it? Well, this is a new address. I've never done it. So I'm just going to simply click ignore all. And then you can see this is costing me two cents to send. This is your gas. If this was on Ethereum, it would probably be 20, 30, 40 bucks. Who knows? Which is why a lot of people aren't using Ethereum right now. But again, I'm doing this for two cents. So I'll hit sign and create, confirm. And there we go. Now, when you're in Rabi and you want to see what you've done, you can click on transactions to see it. So you can see right here, I received this much BNB three minutes ago. And I sent that much BNB one minute ago. Now, just so you guys know, you're going to get a lot of scam tokens sent to you a lot of fake airdrops that are trying to get you to click on links. And if you do, they can take money out of your wallet. So most of the stuff, if you just one day wake up, you're like, oh my gosh, I got $5,000 in my wallet. I don't know where it came from. It's probably a scam token. So be very careful. You can even click hide scam transactions. Um, you can swap inside of Rabby. Okay, you can go to swap. And let's say I wanted to swap from BNB to USDT, which is a stable coin. I could do that right here. So let's say I want to do zero point, and I might not have enough in here to do it, but let's just say I did. You're going to click get quotes. So I usually like to use Kyber Swap. Okay, so this exchange is not enabled to trade by you, so you're going to click enable it. And I'm going to go to Kyber Swap and click trade. Once enabled, you will interact with the contract from the exchange directly. Rabi is not liable. I understand and accept it. So these are decentralized finance places that I can swap in. So now I'll X out of this. And Kyber Swap usually is the best and they just seem to work the best. So now I'm going to trade some BNB for USDT right inside of Rabi. So I'll click on that. This will pop up. So I'm going to pay that much 272, get 272. It's costing me 49 cents. That seems a little high. I think it's because I'm dealing with a decentralized exchange and they're making money. So they're going to charge a little bit more. So there's different decentralized exchanges you can trade. It depends on um, the blockchain you are on. For Binance Smart Chain, it's PancakeSwap. For Ethereum, it's Uniswap. For Avalanche, it's Trader Joe's. Those are things you guys will all learn as you get more into the blockchain and get educated in this space. Let's see if it's here. It is. So now we have our BNB and we have some USDT. Um, if you need to add custom tokens, I know a lot of people in my community are in the debt ecosystem. So if there's a token and it's not showing up, you're going to click on the blue box and then paste it in here. Let me get you guys an example. So I went to deck screener and search for black gold. And you're going to come down here to the bottom right. And it see as has the pair of them. This is the address they're traded at. This is the address for black gold. This is the address for debt. So I'm going to copy the black gold address. Come to Rabi. Click on the blue. Paste the token address in there. And it comes up with the black gold. So I'll click on black gold. 
where it says customize, I'm going to slide that toggle over and then I can X out of it and it will show up now. One customized. So if I had black gold in this wallet, it would now show that I have the black gold. And once you do that for one wallet, you can do it. It's done for all the other ones. So let's say you have another address you want to import. You're going to come up here to the right. Okay. And you can import another seed phrase from a different wallet, or you can create another wallet if you want to. Um, I think that's a majority of what you guys need. You'll also see, um, oh, let me show you guys this. The other nice thing about Rabby is it automatically connects to Web3 websites. So like I said, PancakeSwap is where you go to on Binance Smart Chain to swap stuff. So usually it will connect automatically. If it doesn't, you'll click Connect Wallet. And they actually have Rabby as an option now. Sometimes you can just click MetaMask and Rabby will still be the one that joins. So now I'm going to click Connect and it switched to BNB chain for the current DAP. So you can see here, go away. All right, so in Rabby, we can see we're connected to PancakeSwap on the Binance Smart Chain. And you can see here, our, it shows our address with the B004 at the end, which is our address that is in Rabby. So we are now, now connected to PancakeSwap. This is pretty similar across, no matter which blockchain you are, blockchain you are in you're going to go to a swap one of the tokens will be here with the bnb and then the token that you want is at the bottom so let's just do all right so if i wanted to swap bnb for usdt or another token i'm going to click that so i could turn my 0 0.01 bnb into usdt so I would click swap, confirm swap. Something will pop up in my wallet. I will sign and confirm that. And so I'm decentralized, right? I'm not going to Coinbase or crypto.com. I'm swapping from one asset to another while keeping full custody of all of my cryptocurrency. So you guys can see now we have more USDT and less BNB. Pretty much anything else you would need in Rabby, you just go to more. You can lock your wallet, manage addresses, but most of that, if you're new, you're not going to use. All right. So I think that's it, guys. I hope this gave you, you know, just some insight as to how to get started with blockchain, cryptocurrency, Web3 and decentralized finance. Even if you guys don't have a lot of money, I highly urge you to get educated on how to move in this space. This is the future of everything that we are going to be doing. Not getting into blockchain and Web3 right now is ignoring the internet in the 90s. Imagine people in the 90s who were like, eh, I'm not going to learn about email. I'm not going to learn about websites. I'm not going to learn you know, how to do stuff on the internet they lost their chance for that wealth transfer. We have now been given a second chance for the greatest wealth transfer in human history. So I hope you guys get educated and take massive action no matter where you are at. We'll talk to you guys real soon. Lace up, let's get wealthy. Peace.